Team Kiwi here with a nice Combat 7 stream. So, haven't done one of these in ages, but the brand new DLC just dropped about 10 minutes ago. It should have been about over an, just a little bit over an hour ago, but it's here nonetheless. Um, so. I'm trying to think where I go. Oops, I'm in the wrong. Na, 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 na. Nope. It'll be mission select. I don't know Trigger. why I did that. Everyone, listen up. There we go. Unexpected visitor. Hey Alex, I've almost finished writing the summary for the report. Perfect. I'm still unconvinced. So here's a question for you, Alex. How can we do this without killing three strikes? You don't. Spencer still hasn't recovered? He has, but the doctor won't let him fly. <laughs> Just as much. How much longer are you gonna make me wait? This is a self-important step. You're here, and he really is quite important. We're connected. Ready now, sir. <sighs> I'm Brigadier General Howard Clemens. I'm in charge of this operation. I'm trying to think which part of the story this is at. Our objective is to capture an advanced submarine in harbor at Artiglio. The port of Artiglio and the surrounding it oil looks like facilities um, were mostly destroyed by another After the air first operation. arsenal bird is destroyed. Oh, that port. Seems like such a long time ago. You've been there? However, Erujian forces repaired the facilities and used them to resupply and maintenance a massive submarine. Here's a question. Uh. How long do you think this submarine is? If you guess 495 meters, you're right. It also has a width of 116 meters, and a submerged displacement of 810,000 tons. It's a supersized nuclear submarine, powered by two liquid metal-cooled reactors. I guess it really is huge. So who's the quiz show host? David North. I'm an OIA analyst from Advanced Weapons Analysis. So that's the, um, the, the fuel depot that we destroyed. Because he doesn't need to be. When we are still part of the um, <laughs> the penal the penal detected. unit. Continue. I've come to call this super submarine the Alicorn. The Alicorn is a submarine, and yet it can stage aircraft operations like a carrier. It also boasts some serious firepower with its two main railguns. Their range is over 400 kilometers. A real monster. For the sub's force projection capabilities are equivalent to a carrier strike group. Furthermore, it can approach underwater or use aircraft and railguns to attack outside the enemy's range. It has an unusual history befitting such a ship. It was launched four years ago. However, it went MIA on a sea trial after being outfitted. It was later found at the bottom of the ocean by chance. Another 356 crewmen, 330 were rescued. Here's the question. 
For how many days was the alicorn underwater? It was 698 days. Whoa. They were down there two years? They were on the seafloor at 15 degrees. So why are they deploying it to the front lines now? I suspect it has to do with the loss of an arsenal bird and the IRBM cluster. Huh. Okay. So we just blow up the damn thing? We capture it. Don't make me repeat myself. We've had reports from local sources that there are weapons of mass destruction aboard the Alicorn. Source. If we can secure that evidence, we'll gain advantage in the peace negotiations post-war. The Ocean Navy has dispatched a fleet, including a landing ship, to capture the Alicorn. Our mission is to secure air superiority and protect this assault and capture task force. If we take too long, they'll scuttle the sub. The fleet will commence its actions while we seize the skies. Wouldn't it be risky to bring the fleet in before we secure air superiority? That is none of your concern. So basically, you're putting our fleet in danger for political gains. They should have taught how to address superiors in boot camp. An EW squadron will be deployed. Their ESM will be a valuable asset. Stay within their range, and you'll have a significant advantage over your enemies. The ETA for the EW aircraft is the same as HF. Only Strider Squadron will sort it. Well, I have to sit this one out? Wait, Wiseman, you're not coming? I'll be assisting the Brigadier General at HQ. This is by no means a difficult mission. Your squadron commander's absence shouldn't change that. Count, Hip Chan, Scald. Well, looks like I need to go back to the handy dandy SU 57. Especially because I'm versing some. Let's see, is there anything new that they've added to the aircraft tree? I won't use any of these new aircraft because they're just shit. They're just all... What's the word I'm looking for here? Um, not nostalgia. Actually, yeah, they're nostalgic. They're just for nostalgia purposes. Apart from this, but it's still shit. I wish this was better like it was in the older games. No, I don't see anything new. That's a shame. Damn. Okay. Multi-purpose burst missile. <sighs> now it could be handy, it's just got such little bloody ammo. TLS, fuel air explosive bomb, that could be handy. But I'm versing a lot of in-air adversaries. This is good because it's got the pulse laser for its cannon. And I could maybe have a UAV, but it doesn't do much against enemy aircraft. They're, they're pretty stupid, the UAVs. They don't slow down, they don't um, lock on behind a target and stuff and slow down and just keep attacking. They just do a strafe past, and if they miss, they miss, and they try to come back around and hit them. They're not very maneuverable or effective, so they're a waste. There's this. This is my baby.
Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. Those UAVs on that, um, on the Raven is probably good for bosses, uh, bosses, bosses. Set off as soon as we're ready. Range displayed on your radar. Your capabilities will improve inside that area. Why we've been heavy talking. 
from ESM. Shit, can I catch this ace in time? I probably won't, but if it's not in, um... Damn it, I wish I saw that earlier. I think I'll restart the mission.
Because if I restart checkpoint, it will just add to the time. Hang on, let's see where the checkpoint is. Here we go. Do it with a bang. I think it's restarting the whole mission. So. All right. Here we go. Do it with a bang. Understood. Shit. What's up? Friendly aircraft and EW aircraft will arrive five minutes late. What? Retreat and wait for backup. Retreat not authorized. Gain air superiority at once. Trigger, what now?
entire airspace. I have. On my target tail. That bird over there flies pretty well. Didn't think pilots of that caliber were still around. So that aircraft coming in over there, what's that? With that Harrier group? I think I destroyed it. Yes, yes, I know. Definitely faster than the ones before. 
range. Aircraft type, SU-47. I think these are the last two enemies. Are these more? I oh, know. I was thinking they were. Um... I thought those were MiG 31s or something. Charged. 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 Charged.
I missed again. That's the DLC mission. Here we go. Do it with a bang. I wonder if I got an S ranking. Oh, I almost did it without getting damaged. I got hit by some um, cannon, cannon fire from one of the aircraft that I was approaching head on. I could have done it a little bit faster. The operation... Hold on. We still don't know who those bats were. Why were they after Trigger? They were using Shit. OCS radio frequency. You mean they're on our side? Impossible. They didn't respond to our IFF. Or maybe they were there to settle a personal score. There's nothing unusual about being shot in the back by an ally. Guess it might have been that way where we came from, but you know what I'm saying, Trigger? Everyone, here's a question. That's enough. Remove him from the call. Wait, wait, don't hang up on me yet. How did they know that we had intelligence on their weapons of mass destruction? They never would have taken such actions if they didn't know. They have a spy. <laughs> Better to be suspicious than not, I suppose. At the very least, we'll have to assume from here on out that they know everything that we do. S rank. Cool. Hmm. 
94 targets destroyed. So when you're in the um, the area of effect of the AWAX or EWAX, um, your standard missiles have longer lock-on range, faster lock-on time, longer flight time, faster flight speed, massively um, better homing and damage and reload so much quicker. And they don't seem to be affected by the clouds the same, so that's great. Definitely take um, effect, uh, take use of those. They um, the, the one shot kill. I, I'm assuming everything. Most planes. I don't know if about um, the harder to kill stuff, like the MiG 31. It's high defense, and the F 22, F 23, and SU 57. They take normally three of those missiles, so they might do. It's kind of sucky though. Like the three DLCs and spreading them out over a month, over three months, Another question, one a month. Alex. Captain Mateus Torres, the captain of the Alicorn, what is his goal? There are 21 likely targets. The number of main routes wrong to the targets is 2,405. Uh, you're being too logical. Want me to define main? Alex, can you be more sensory? What do you mean? Make me a collage of Torres's quotes. Work freely. Keep my hypothesis in mind. Life taken by cheap kills of forward projectional sea power. No good. No good. Alex. All right, let's go on. Try to be a little more sensuous. Monstrous, 16,752, and salvation of passivity. Okay. Vulgarity of six per minute, a forward security. Good. Will of nuclear retaliation on death. 160 millimeter guidance where massacre is placed by mass planning. More logically. Salvation of 10 million. An elegant massacre upon the cage continents. Stop. That's a, a correct or is it? Hmm. So, that was the first of three DLC missions. It's a little bit sad that it's only like a, um, I can do that faster as well. So, it's about 20 minutes with the cinematics and everything. Maybe 25, probably with all the um, briefings and stuff. But it's, it was quite good. A lot of action, a lot of um, destroying shit. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Um, let's have a look. Oh, did I unlock Ace difficulty for it? I did. Cool. I'll do that at some stage. Yeah. It was, it was there, in Mission 8, Pipeline Destruction, that's where that um, uh, DLC mission was based on. Artiligo port. Artigilio port. I said that wrong. <laughs> so it was... After this mission... No, after this one... Does it have a date of when it's... Of when the operation happens? No. Alright, so it's after these two missions, after you've destroyed the first um, of the Arsenal Birds and the ICBMs, or the IRCBMs. So it's probably somewhere in between here. Let's see if we're coming from going down lower. 
it's probably between missions 13 and 14 but why would we go from going up north to then going back down south way south because remember we flew in from the south of the port but anywho um so that was that oh do that on ace difficulty at some stage and thanks for joining in everyone i'm going to end the stream there if you enjoyed it and um thought it was quite good and stuff then hit that follow button so you get notified whenever i go live next or whatever i go live next and i'm probably about to go live again with some, i'm probably going to do some borderlands although i might try to do some call of duty but i probably won't go live with that because i just rage too hard and none of you and that's not good for anyone to watch. <laughs> um, but I might probably do some Borderlands. But um, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent there. Um, so if you enjoyed it, hit that follow button so you get notified when I go live next. Whatever I go live next with. I'll also will be exporting this to my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can follow the little link underneath my live stream panel. And um, it will take you to my YouTube channel, which I unlock, unlock uploads clips and stuff there which I can't do to here which is odd but no well um so yeah uh if you like what you see over there then um it would mean a lot to me if you guys could maybe subscribe it would help me out a lot and help out the channel and I'd very much appreciate it. As always drop a comment on stuff you'd like to see me do next or things you think I could do better with or just general constructive criticism or even to pop in and say hey. It's I'm not at I'm almost at a hundred subs so nice a nice small manageable number so I can all so I can communicate with you all personally. Um and yeah hope everyone's having a great day or great night wherever in the world you are. Peace out everyone. Have a great one.